I didn't mean to start a toothpaste company, but when I first heard about nanohydroxyapatite, the science made perfect sense. Nanohydroxyapatite is what your teeth and bones are already made of. They're rod-shaped particles that fit neatly into weakened enamel and they seal up your dentinal tubules that can otherwise cause sensitivity when fluid gets into them. Nanohydroxyapatite has been used in Japan since the 70s and the 80s. It's studied, safe, and effective. So I figured, great, someone's already got this figured out. And I bought a toothpaste with nanohydroxyapatite off Amazon in the summer of 2022. And I hated it. The texture was off, the taste was worse, and afterward, my mouth didn't feel clean. I kept thinking, if this is the best fluoride-free toothpaste we've got, well, we're screwed. But I'm a chemist. I couldn't stop thinking about why it didn't work. And then I realized something. Toothpaste is mostly water. So when you squeeze a paste out of a tube, you need all kinds of extra stuff to keep it stable. Think preservatives, viscosity agents, and humectants, like glycerin. Some of those aren't bad. I mean, we use glycerin in our kids' toothpaste because kids need a paste. They can't chew tablets. But adults? We didn't need that. So I teamed up with a dentist who taught me about nanohydroxyapatite in the first place. We stripped the formula down to its essentials, and he and I built something different. A dry tablet that activates with your own saliva. We didn't include any water or any fluoride. We just included 13 ingredients that all serve a real purpose. In our knobs toothpaste tablets, you can find 5% nanohydroxyapatite to remineralize your enamel. And it sits alongside xylitol for salivary flow, and zinc for plaque, and licorice root for your bad breath. Nothing gets in the way of remineralization. The first time I brushed with our prototype, I wasn't thinking about customers or packaging or a brand, honestly. I just wanted to see if it worked. And the first time I drank hot coffee and didn't flinch, I knew it did work. I didn't start Biome because I wanted to sell toothpaste. I started it because nothing else solved the thing I dealt with every day. And then I quickly learned, a lot of you are just like me.